any other time. This is the time of the year. Yes. We ought to come together and adore our newborn king. Amen. Yes. Newborn king. We thank you choir for that song. Seasonal. Amen. Yes. Seasonal song meets the time that we're in and the praises, the form of praises that we ought to be giving unto the Lord. Our scripture, as we said, comes from the book of St. Luke chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 4, 5, 6, and 7. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. We pray that you're there with us and you can read along with me. And the fourth verse reads, says, And Joseph also went up from Galilee, mm -hmm. out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, yes, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, yes, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, clothes laid him in a manger because there were no was no room for them in the inn. Amen. We read in the hearing. Luke second chapter verses four through eight. We ask that God add a blessing, the reading and the hearing of his word this morning. Amen. One of the officers will come. Amen. Amen. Thanks you, Dick. Let us tell God, thank you. Amen. Tell him, thank you. Amen. Everything we must give God thanks. Give him thanks. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father, mm -hmm. which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. Thank you, Lord. Lead us not, my master, into no temptation, but dear God, we ask you to deliver us mm -hmm. from all things like sin and evil. For thine is your kingdom, the power and the glory of thine. Mm -hmm. Most holy and everlasting, everlasting thou art eternal God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. we come this hour of the morning with bowed head and humble heart. We come with our head bowed down in the left of our shoulder. Thank you, Lord. Most of all, my Father, we come just to say thank you. Thank you. We want to thank you uh, for uh, your son, Jesus. Uh, who died on Calvary Cross. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we still thank you. Mm. Not only that, my master, we want to thank you for last night lying down. Yeah. As we slumbered and slept all night long. Yes, now, you had one of your heels who stood by our bedside. Yes, I don't know which one of those heels it was, but Lord, it was right there till the break of day this morning. You learn that he will touch us uh, about our body. Uh, yeah. Call him, oh Lord, and I'll go to him to roll on a few days longer. Yeah, uh, Lord. Lord, we still thank you. We thank you. Uh, not only that, my master, the reason why uh, we call you this morning, because Lord, we need you. We need you. Uh, we need you every day of our life. Yeah, Lord. Uh, we need you early in the morning. Yeah. We need you late in the midnight hour. We need most of all, oh Lord, when the sun behind the south, behind the western hill. Yeah. Uh, because we don't know whether we will be able to see it rise 
Mm, but if your grace uh, and your mercy, yeah. Yeah, oh Lord, we will be able to see another day. Uh, not only that, my Father, uh, before, good God Almighty, before we attempt to go any further in prayer, yeah. uh, we want to thank you, oh Lord, you allow us to come back together one more time. Uh, in this house who was dedicated a long time ago. Uh, one was built on a solid foundation. Yeah. Uh, those who have gone uh, on to travel, gone and never known to return, uh, we are still building uh, on a foundation. Yeah, Lord. Uh, oh, Lord, we thank you. Uh, oh, Lord, we thank you uh, for our pastor, uh, Reverend Cordell Ferguson Sr., uh, who are leading and telling us uh, the goodness of God. Yeah, uh, Lord. We pray, my Father, uh, that you would keep him yeah. and Lord cover him with your precious blood. Uh, not only him but his whole entire family. Yeah, now Lord. Lord be thank you. Uh, not only that my master uh, I know that you the good God, good God. Mm, because I know you for myself. I know if you say in your word uh, that whatever we stand in need of the acts in your name. Lord I keep asking you because I know you never get tired. Yeah. I ask you, dear God, to give me a little more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you, Lord. Give me faith that I'll be able to stand the fire, fire of the devil. Yeah. Because, Lord, I know, oh Lord, for myself, that Satan is trying all his tricks. But one thing I know, my master, I can look to the hill and say, Father, Oh, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou would do that tell for me, the yeah. other shall I go. Yeah. Because I know, my master, that you've gone all by yourself. Yeah. You've heard John on the alley of Patamon. you heard the three Hebrew boys yeah. in the fire frame. you heard Moses on the mountain top. you heard John in the bed of the wheel. Yeah. you heard Miss Jack and Shadrach in a bending gold. And Lord, I know you have right now. Bless Zion as a whole. Bless those ones who are still trying to do the best they can, my master. Yeah. And then my father, yeah, we did all those things. When we got to quit the busy walk of life to come no more. But one of these days, I want to hear you saying, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. That good and faithful service. Yeah. yeah. Now I've been feeble over well, me. Yeah. Now I'm coming up high and, and I don't need to rule over many. These all of this and evil acts in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. To thy servant prayer. Amen. 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 And thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shine on me. Oh, shine on me, let the light from the light out shine on me, oh, shine on me, oh, shine on me, let the light from Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you, Lord. Amen.
sir. Thank you. Let your light yes, sir. from the lighthouse yes, shine sir. on me. Thank Amen. You, what a powerful Thank prayer. You. Amen. The final prayer Thank of service is in this place this year. Amen. Oh, God, how powerful you. you are. Thank you. And how much we thank you for what you're doing and for what you have done. Amen. 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 Thank you. I sat there and I listened to him pray and I watched him move that hand and that arm. And I watched him clap his hand. Spoke to the Lord and I said to myself, Yes, see what the Lord can do. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a few months ago, I hope he doesn't mind me saying, yes, sir. involved in an accident. Yes, sir. Had to go through some healing. Amen. Yes, but I believe as he went through the healing, he prayed, yes, we prayed. Yes, sir. And oh, this morning, he just, that hand just going. Amen. Said, Lord, thank you for thank what you've done. Yes, sir. You know what I like about it? Yes, sir. The same thing that the Lord has done for him. Yes, sir. He does the same thing for me and for you. Amen. Yes, How powerful the Lord is when we just trust Him. Thank you. You have to trust Him. Thank you so much. Amen. Yeah, God bless you. Amen. Yes. Wow. Yes. Can we pause now and take a breath and say, Lord, we're going to move forward. There's a word. Amen. Yes. yes. There's a word from heaven for the Lord's people. And Pray that the Lord give us the power to bring that word yes. the way that he wants it to be delivered, that we will know about his only begotten son yes. and how he came into the world to pay the price for all of our sin, that when this life journey is over, we can go back and be with the Lord in his kingdom. Amen? Amen. 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 So with that, we're going to ask the choir once again for another selection. And after this selection from the Lord, we'll come back to your front with a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us lift him up together. Amen. We've got it powerfully going. Let us not let it go down. Amen. Somebody want to be blessed. I want to be blessed. Amen. 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 Tell me when was Jesus born on the land. Fifth day 
December. Of December. Amen. Oh, man, I remember about two or three years ago, when I was a kid, I could not wait. Y'all said, I heard me say a couple, I heard me say a couple, a few years ago. <laughs> I could not wait for December 25th. Man, I'd get up out of bed and in my grandmother's house, we'd sneak around where the Christmas tree was and peep under the tree to see what Santa Claus had left for me. Amen. And I was looking for more than just my two front teeth. Eh? I wanted something real underneath that tree. And I know our young ones this morning, they are looking forward to that and praying. And this year is different, I think, than so many years yes, sir. that we have experienced. And family would like to do more for their children, and they can't because of the way things are today. Yes. But I stop by to tell you, God is still in control. Amen. Yes. But you can't do this year, the Lord, will more than make up for it. In another year, if we keep the faith yes, and keep looking toward the hill from whence cometh our help. Amen. Amen. Thank you, choir. Amen. That's a good song for this service. This is our last worship experience, regular service in this place yes, for this year. Amen. So we got to pray that as we come to you this morning, that the Lord opens a way for us yes, to come and to worship him uh, in the year to come that he's about to bring us into. Amen. I wanted to share with you that. My wife brought me a program this morning on Zion from our last Christmas service here. And I was looking at it and see how busy we were mm -hmm. a year ago or on today or in this month. And one of the things I took note of was the fact that after our service, we normally have our Christmas program yes. where a young one comes and recite you know, uh, Christmas parts. Yes. We put on a play and we've gotten accustomed to that. And I hope that this one year here when we're not doing that, that we will not feel like we're not going to do it uh, next year when the Lord bless us to get this seat. I've already accepted the fact that the Lord is going to bring us into new, uh, next year. Yes. And I've already accepted the blessing that he's going to take us through the year. Yes. And I'm making plans for a Christmas program yes. for next year this time. Is that faith or what? Yes. Amen. Yes. I haven't gotten it yet, but I know I serve a God that can get us there. Yes. So I'm praying that our young ones are still on board, they're still excited about Christmas, and they're still excited about learning something about the Lord. Yeah. And with that, before I get into a message, I want to also say that this year we've had our Zoom um, Bible study. Um, Deacon Singler, we thank you so much for yeah. studying and coming and teaching and for the members who have engaged that platform and who have learned. I have grown, and I don't mind saying it, even as pastor, amen. I've grown through the experience that we've gone through and other members, those who are listening this morning and who have been a part of the service and the research and the things that you've done yeah. help all of us grow stronger in the Lord. We certainly thank you for that. We don't know how things are going to go in the new year, but we hope to continue having that kind of study yeah. one hour out of the week. That's all. Just one hour. Yeah. It should not be robbery for any of us. And also, we started here about three months ago of having one Sunday school class a month with our young ones. And just this past week on Thursday evening from seven until eight, we had our um, um, youth Bible, our Sunday school class. And uh, yes. we got the exchange, we had some input from our younger members. Uh, lesson talked about the birth of Christ when Herod was ruling and those kinds of things. And and I hope that every time we go through this part of the scripture, we learn something more Amen. about the coming of our Lord and Savior yep. to this land that we love so much and that we will pick up some of the attributes of Jesus Christ and try to live the way that he lived and demonstrated Amen. his life when he was here. Yep. I want to also share with you that we gave out some gift cards during that class. We had a young lady that we had asked, given an assignment, she worked diligently on that and made a report to our class. So we gave out to her um, a gift card in the amount of $30 for her efforts toward that. Also, during the class that we had just this past Thursday, we challenged the students to you know, read and to tell us what they thought the scripture or the text was saying. Amen. And we had some input there. One of our class members, Brandon, I believe, amen? amen. And Brandon was very... He was like a baseball player on the base. He ran, and uh, he never stopped till he got home, made a home run. And we awarded to him, gave to him a gift card in the amount of 
45 dollars. We're sending that out this morning to him. And also we had a third, which was in the amount of $20 that we gave out for the one that participated in the class the most. And there was a question that was formulated and put out and the young lady answered the question and that was given to uh, London Ferguson, amen. amen. No relation to me. I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> of my granddaughters, and we thank her for her input. And we pray that it encourages some of the other ones to step up and do some things. We're not doing that. Um, we're not want you to think that we are, are paying you to learn, but we want you to just be engaged yeah. in what the Lord is doing. Amen. The greatest benefit is what you learn from the Lord. Yeah. Now, let us move forward uh, in our text. We read to you this morning from the book of St. Luke, Chapter 2, we read verses 4 uh, through 8. Amen. And we're going to use those verses as our uh, focus verse, verses to support our text this morning. I'm going to read the last verse that I read, which is verse number 7, if you are looking again with me. And I hope you are. And the seventh verse said, And she brought forth her firstborn wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come again, Lord, blessing your holy and righteous name. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for March through uh, December, yeah. and counting December as though we've been through it because we serve a God that can do it. Amen. We thank you. Lord, we've had some ups and downs. We've been challenged mm -hmm. in ways that we have not been challenged before. Oh, we've been challenged as a country, Lord. We have been challenged as leaders. Mm -hmm. We've been challenged as followers of Christ. We've been yeah. followed as people mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. But Lord, we come this morning. We hope not to focus on the things that have stood before us. But Lord, we pray this morning that you allow us to focus on you and your son. Yes. Lord, let everything else lay aside, for they are in your hands. Yes. We want to learn more about your son and how he came into the world and how much you, our Father, loved us mm -hmm. in that you sent your only begotten son by way of Bethlehem. Yes. And then, Lord, you received him again by way of the cross. This is our prayer in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our thought for you this morning from these verses, if I may, is the ins and out of the Savior's birth. The ins and out of the Savior's birth. Now we know that Matthew in his writing, we know that Luke in his writing are captured for us on the birth of Christ and the things that took place in and around the birth of the Savior coming into the world. Yeah. We've talked about that in our Sunday school lesson. We've preached about that. Uh, something centered around that in our pre previous messages. And we wish to talk to you this morning briefly, uh, as Luke records in the second chapter, yes. about uh, the things that took place with Mary, Jesus' mother, mm -hmm. and Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, as he is about to come into the world. Mm -hmm. And as we look in on the book of Luke, I want to back you up just a little bit to the first verse. Because mm -hmm. I think that sets the stage for the verses that we're in and the understanding that we would like for you to gain as we move through these verses this morning. Amen? Mm -hmm. So the first verse, in, uh, Luke writes, he says, And it came to pass in those days yes, that they went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world mm -hmm. should be taxed. Mm -hmm. And, and the first, second verse follows by saying, and this tax was first made by Serenus uh, when Serenus was governor of Syria. So it, it reads to me as though this is the first time tax has been mm -hmm. assigned. Mm -hmm. The first verse where it says they went out of decree means he made a law. He, he uh, set things in motion so that everyone who was under his kingdom mm -hmm. had to register for this tax. Mm -hmm. I found that at, in December of every year, or somewhere there toward the end of the year, I get a tax bill today. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that tax bill has anything to do with this start. But every year I get a tax on my land, on my house, 
and those things that we have. And I don't know about you, but I'm not that, that crazy about paying the taxes, but it has to be done. Yeah. Amen. And then there are times when I think perhaps the taxes are too much. But still, if I want to enjoy the things that the Lord has given to me, there are things in this life that we have to do uh, in order to uh, keep those blessings. Anyhow, uh, the third verse here says, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And I think these three verses sets the stage for what is about to occur as we go down through the verses that I have for my focus verses this morning. Wow. Here, uh, by the version, Mary uh, was brought with great, great with child to Bethlehem because of this taxation uh, to be delivered and there according to the prediction it was predicted by the prophets or said by the prophets that this Jesus should be born in Bethlehem yes. Yes. so God in his infinite wisdom <laughs> had already orchestrated a means of getting uh, Joseph and Mary into Bethlehem before the child was born Yes, sir. And it seems to me that somehow God uses this king mm -hmm. to put on this decree that would require all who was of the house of David to move to Bethlehem. Wow. Even though Mary was great, and I, when it says great, I want to suggest to you that she's in the later stages of her pregnancy where she could give birth soon. Yeah, yeah. And even at that point, mm -hmm. it was so important, I feel, for Joseph and Mary to move to Bethlehem, that even though she was great with child, it was not too much to journey to Bethlehem to register for the taxation. You know what? I often say, man planned things, but God simply executes. They were in Nazareth. But God executed his plan to move them from there to Bethlehem because he had already told his prophets to say that the son will be born in Bethlehem. Yes, yes. And if you don't know, Bethlehem can be interpreted the house of bread. Isn't it appropriate that the bread of life yes. should be should come into the world in a place known as the house of bread? Yes. The bread of life, Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, which is known or referred to as the house of bread. Yeah. Well, it appeared that Christ was of the seed of David for what brings his mother to Bethlehem now was because he was of the house and lineage of David. In other words, he was brought there because he was a descendant. Jesus was a descendant of David. This was a material thing to be proved and required such authenticity authentic proof authentic proof as to his lineage wow. not only was he of the lineage but he had God had it set up such that he had to go back and register to show that he was of that lineage yeah. and God got Joseph to move him and his mother to Bethlehem even before he was born yeah. but what happened how did this all play out hereby it appears that he was made, Jesus was made under the law. When Jesus came in the world, we were living, the country of the world was living under the law. Moses, the lawgiver. For he came a subject of Rome, of the Roman Empire. As soon as he was born, Jesus Christ was a servant of rulers. As soon as he was born, he was a servant of rulers. The king of the world came in and was a servant of rulers. Many suppose that being born during a time of taxation, he was enrolled as well as his mother and father. That it might appear now he was made, subject, made himself subject to no reputation. The king of the world came in as a servant, lowered himself down as a person of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant. Mm -hmm. Instead of having king attributes to him, wow. when he came into the world, he was himself a tributary, giving. Mm -hmm. 
mother and father has to pay taxes to the Roman government. The king of the world came in, his parent had to register him, and he is paying, in a sense, tributaries mm -hmm. to the kings of the world, of the land. The circumstances of his birth, the ins and out of his birth, the circumstances of Christ's birth, where, which were very mean. He came mm -hmm. uh, lowly, mm -hmm. and under all possibility, mark a mark of contempt. He was indeed a firstborn son. Yes, sir. First child that Mary had. Amen. Mm -hmm. But not only that, it was poor, a poor honor to be the firstborn of such a poor woman as Mary. Mm -hmm. Who had no inheritance. Mary had no inheritance mm -hmm. to which he might be entitled to as the firstborn. But what was the only thing he had was his nativity. And God ensured that that lineage was secure and that required him to go to Bethlehem mm -hmm. to register before his mother and father registered before he was born. Wow. Anybody out there ever stop and reflect on your beginning? How things were Amen. when you were born into the world? Amen. I think about, about my upbringing mm -hmm. and where I started out. And I'm going to tell you what. It wasn't anything to brag about. Mm -hmm. Amen. I grew up in a home with my mother and grandmother, along with my siblings. My mother worked day and night mm -hmm. just to keep food on the table. Yes, just to keep clothes on my back. And you notice I didn't say clothes, I said clothes. Mm -hmm. That means you had one to wear, mm -hmm. one to wash, and you're ready to wear while you're, while you're filthy the one you're wearing. And it wasn't an abundance. And when I look back and think about how meager life was then, I remember, listen, I remember a time when in my community there might have been three cars in the entire community that black folk owned. And I drove out from home this morning and I saw more than three cars in every yard. Somebody had to look back and say, thank God for where he brought us from. Yes, sir. Y'all didn't hear me. Folk build houses now. They want a room for every child in the house. We slept all in the same room. And I hope I'm not giving out any secret. And for a while, we slept in the same bed. Yes, sir. When I look at that and think about it, sisters and brothers, I say, look at what God can do. And I believe every generation ought to climb higher than the generation before them. Or oh, listen, mom and dad, you all are listening to me this morning. Grandmother and grandfather. Every once in a while, you want to sit your sons and daughters down and tell them how you thought it. They may not believe it, but you ought to rehearse for them how things were when you got started and let them know how easy things are now when they start to complain. They ought to hush their mouth and go down and sit down and say, thank you, Lord, for what you've done up for me. That song that I quoted a few times saying, all I want for Christmas was my two front teeth. Yes, Sometimes that's all we had. And that front teeth came by God's doing yes, when he gave it to us. Amen. So I just wanted to say that because Jesus came poorly, much like many of us. He was, he was under some abasement in common with other children. He was wrapped. Y'all can help me. I said, he was wrapped as the verse says in Luke record, he was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Nothing special, just wrapped in swaddling clothes. As other children are when they are newborn. As if he could be bound and needed to be kept straight. The everlasting father became a child. God became a child of time. And men said to him who outgoing were of old from everlasting. We know this man when they saw him. We know this man when he came. Is he not Joseph's son? Yeah. You know when folk do that with you, when, when they see you stepping up, yeah. they look at you and say, isn't that Cornell? Yeah. Uh, isn't he from Johnson? Mm -hmm. They can't be much into him. Yes, but those that God pours into yes, can do everything. That God called them to do. I walk around home now. They, they, they just say, hey, Cornell. I had a nickname. And I don't want to put that out because I don't want that nickname anymore. So I won't tell you all the nickname in this form. I hear you. Yes, ma'am. Not, not now. 
I had a nickname that, 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 that I used to be called. Thank God they forgot the nickname. They don't say Reverend Ferguson, and I don't have a problem with that. And they don't say Brother Ferguson, I don't have a problem with that. Because they call me based, I hope, on what they see. Yeah. But one thing that I, I don't want them to call me, don't tell me I'm not a child of God. We're right. <laughs> we going to have some trouble right there. Yeah. Amen. So from everlasting to everlasting, we know this man, they said, and we know where he comes from. The angel days became an infant of a span long. The angel days became an infant of a span long. In other words, God himself, who was from everlasting to everlasting, took on flesh and came down and lived only a span long. Yes, sir. And then he was gone. gone. Yes, sir. Look at what he did while he was here. Yes, sir. He was born in an inn. Yes, the son of David that was the glory of his father's house yes. had no inheritance that he could, could command. Not only in the city of David. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a friend that could take him in. He had to go to an inn in order for his mother uh, to bring him into the world. And even there was no room yes, in the end. Yes, but I hope there's room in our end. Yes. That is in our hearts. Yes, for God. Yes, Let me do that. It said, no, not in the city of David there was no place for it. Nor a, a friend that would accommodate his mother in the distress of lodging to be brought into a bed in a time like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Christ was born in an inn. And really not in an inn, but in a barn outside where the inns were. Mm -hmm. To intimate that he came into the world but uh, to sojourn it here for a while. Wow. Listen. Mm -hmm. And you need to listen carefully. An inn is a place where you check in for a period of time. And then after a while, you check out. It's like, listen, let me say this way. It's a hotel. You don't go to a hotel to stay forever, set up residence. You go to a hotel for to spend a night, maybe a week or so, and then you check out. Christ came in the world not to be here forever, but he came in the world in an end to indicate that he was not going to stay here for long, 33 plus years, and it was time for him to take up his cross. Bid this world goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Christ was born in an inn to intimate that he came into the world but to serve journey for a while as in an inn to read, to teach us to do likewise. Yeah. And the inn receive all comers. Mm -hmm. And so does Christ. Didn't they say, whosoever will, let him come. Mm -hmm. He hang out the banner of love for his son. Yes, and whosoever came come to him, he will in no wise cast out. Yes, Only unlike other in. Listen, other in, if you don't have a credit card today. Wow. If you don't have dollars in your pockets. Yes. Amen. If you don't have somebody that can pay your stay in the end, you can't stay in the end. Yes, sir. But he welcomed those to come without money yes, and without price. Yes, All is no cost. Just come if you will. Yes, this hymn reminds me of the story we found about the good uh, Samaritan. Yes, sir. The Bible tells me that there was a traveler who was traveling along life's highway. And as he journeyed, the world caught him, stripped him, beat him, and left him to die. In the story, if you don't mind me saying it this way, it tells of a priest that came along and saw him along the side of the road, passed him on the other side because he feared his own safety. Yes, sir. Come on. And then the story tells about a Levi who came by, looked at him, walked over, looked on him. But had some concern about his safety, wondering if I tarry long enough what happened to this Samaritan yes. could very well happen to me. Okay. Left him and moved on down by the side, down the road. I said Samaritan, but we didn't know who he was. Yes. But here comes one who 
the Bible refers to as the good of Samaritan. I wonder if you hear me this morning. Said not only did the good Samaritan came by, walked over and looked over him that was taken by the world, stripped and left by the world to die on the side of the road. The Samaritan looked over, nursed him as best he could. Yes. I'm taking a shortcut here. Mm -hmm. Amen. And after he nursed him, it says, and he took him and put him on his animal. Yes, sir. Took him on down to the hotel. Yeah. When he got down to the hotel, the Bible says he stayed with him all night long. While he stayed with him, I imagine he nursed him, if you allow me to use my mind, he nursed him all night. You feel all right? You feel the pain? What can I do for you? Took care of him all night long. Morning came and the good Samaritan had to move along on his journey, going down the road, but he was so concerned about the one that was stripped by the world and left by the side of the road. We have a Congress this morning. Yes, sir. Debating whether they're going to give uh, uh, help to those who have been so devastated this year. Yes, sir. Folk can't pay their bills. Yes. Folk can't put food on their tables. Yes, Jobs are gone. Yes. Folk are losing loved ones by the hundreds and they are sitting there wringing their hands instead of help people, they need to have a good Samaritan spirit this morning to help somebody. I hope somebody hear me because God's people need help. Yes. Yes. He has placed it in your hands yeah. to dish out the help that God's people need. Yeah. Good Samaritan says, well, I gotta move on down the road. Right. Went to the innkeeper and said, here, I have some pennies I'm gonna give them to you. Take care of him. Well, God, if we had some people like this, Today, this world would be a better world for all of us to live in. Mm -hmm. Take care of him. I'm going on, but I'll be back. Yes, sir. And if it costs you any more to care for him while I'm gone, yeah. I will repay you for what you spent while I'm gone. Yeah. Isn't Christ like that when he came to the end? This man was taken to an end and cared for Christ came into the world, and there wasn't a place for him to be born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luke said, that he was born in a horse stable. stable. Yeah. Some of my younger sisters and brothers, I might have to take a picture of a horse stable and send it to you yeah. for you to know what a horse stable is. Well, but hold on to your hat. Not only that, it said that while Joseph and Mary was there, and Mary was heavy with child, meaning that it was near time for her to give birth. <laughs> when the childbirth pain began, he is knocking on doors trying to find a place for her wife to give birth. There was no room for them in the end. I don't have a problem with that because everybody had gone out to Bethlehem to register for land so all the rooms no doubt was sealed up by the time they got there. But there, thank God there was one person there who had what I would forward to the spirit, like the spirit of the good Samaritan that just, I just talked to you about, says, I don't have a room, but I got a horse. Stay well. Mm -hmm. Out there in the back. Wow. Sisters and brothers, what this ought to say to us, mm -hmm. when we can't get what we want, yeah. we ought to take what we can get. Yeah. Even the son of God's mother and father took what they could get. Yeah. And they went in there, and the Bible says, and she brought forth into the world uh, her first born child. Yes, Somebody should say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And even though there wasn't a bed yes. for the mother to put the newborn child in, yes. thank God he provided a horse trough. Yes. So the Bible said that after he wrapped it, she wrapped him in swollen clothes, oh, yes. she laid him in a manger. Mm -hmm. I went and looked up the word manger just to be sure mm -hmm. I'm right about the definition. Yes, sir. And it said it's something like a trough that you put feet in for the horse and the cows. Yes, My son, our God's son, mm -hmm. the king of the world, came into the world. Yes. Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. Yes, Bible said he made everything mm -hmm. that was made. Yes. And the Bible said there was not anything made that was made that wasn't made by him. Thank God for a burning world. Now, uh, laid there in a horse trough uh, 
wrapped in swallowed clothes. Uh, go on down, you find the loop set. Uh, while there's a going on in Bethlehem, uh, there's something going on uh, out there in the field. Uh, out in the field, and there was some shepherd uh, watching their flight by night. Uh, read on a little further, and you'll find what I'm talking about. Uh, while they were out there in the field, uh, God wanted the world to know him. Uh, he'd given his firstborn son uh, into the world. Uh, angel came to the shepherds in the field uh, said, Behold, uh, behold this night uh, in the city of David, uh, city of Bethlehem. Uh, the newborn king is born. Uh, thou shalt call the name Jesus. Uh, in God all right. Uh, thank God for the burning world. Uh, while they were telling, uh, the angel were telling uh, the shepherds in the field uh, the good news. Uh, newborn birth is coming to the world. Uh, I wish I had somebody this morning. Uh, don't mind praying with you for a little while. Uh, while they're there in the field, uh, listening to the angel, uh, behold, uh, the Bible said, uh, a host of angels uh, came uh, singing and praising. Uh, in God, all right. Uh, so glad this morning uh, I can tell somebody, uh, tell somebody uh, about the ends uh, and the outs of the worst of our Savior. Uh, the king, uh, king is in the world. Uh, and I'm so glad about it. Uh, in God, all right. Uh, when the world uh, needed a Savior, uh, God found a young lady uh, named Mary. Uh, overshadowed Mary. Uh, put a sign in a womb. Uh, in God, uh, my God, all right. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, so happy this morning, uh, then and uh, she uh, was engaged to a man named Joseph. Uh, Joseph decided uh, she has been uh, no doubt unfaithful to me. Uh, I'm not going to go uh, on with this marriage, uh, but she and he uh, didn't want to call her any harm. Uh, God, he put her away from me, but I thank God. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, from a burning world. Uh, getting gone, all right. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Lord. Came back there with the spirit because he said in John 14, uh -huh. says, I go to prepare a place for you. Yes, sir. And if I go, listen, he said, I'm coming back again. Yes, and then he's going to take us with him yes, he because where he is, yes, and this is what I like, yes, amen. Yes. This is where he is, he said, Sister Hayden. So where he, I am, there is where what? I want you to be also. Yes, and I know that he's going to do that for us. So, some glad morning. There's a quiet prayer to sing now. Some glad morning, I said. Yes, sir. When this life is over. 
When you look for me and you don't see me here anymore. Yes, sir. When you can't hear this voice and you don't worry about me. Yes, I'm living to live again. Yes, sir. When he comes. Amen. I want to hear from a smiling Savior. Well done. Well done. That good and faithful servant. I want the Lord to look at me and say, you've been faithful, boy. Yes. I don't care if you call me a boy. Yes. Amen. You've been faithful, boy. Come on up here. Yes. I got some more work for you to do in my kingdom. Yes. And that kingdom will last, what? Throughout all eternity. God bless you. God bless you this morning. We are here and don't live in this world like we're going to be here forever. You might drive the finest car. You might have the best house of money can buy. Your children might be standing on high. But someday, we're going to check out of this end to check into the other end. And when we check into the other end, it's not going to be an end. It's going to be home at last. Home at last. Thank God Almighty. We are home at last. God bless you. Thank you for the distance that you brought us. Yes. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our life right now today. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray you for what you're going to do tomorrow. Amen. Lord, we know that without you, we could not have traveled to this joint juncture this year. This, this year, oh God, without you holding our hand and guiding and protecting us would have consumed us. Mm -hmm. But we thank you, Lord, that we're thank still you. standing and we can still lift holy hands of thee. Yes. And Lord, we're just so pleased just to praise your holy and righteous name. Yes. So, Lord, seeing where you brought us and what you've done for us in this year 2020, Lord, we're not going to focus on pandemic. Lord, we're not going to focus on this administration. Yeah. And, Lord, we're not even going to worry about the new administration that's coming. We're going to cast our cares upon you, our faith in you, and say, Lord, thy will be done. And, Lord, those things, when you've done them, we feel assured that if we live the way you want us to live, yeah. if we bless our family, Lord, and love each one another, yes. there's a blessing for us. Bless, Lord, those who are sick and shut in wherever they are. Yeah. Bless the young and the old. Yeah. Lord, help our young ones and all of us to have a very pleasant and joyful holiday season. Yeah. Merry Christmas to all of us. And that we will share love as best we can. Yeah. And help one another along life's way. Lord, help us now. In this season, to be that Samaritan that our message talked about. For somebody needs this and somebody else needs something else. And Lord, when we join hands together, as we have done in time past, the thing that have brought us this far yes. as your people living in a community, everybody know yes. and help one another. Yes. Lord, I'm so grateful that I have the memory of thinking that when times got hard, yes. my grandmother, my mother could send next door to the neighbor and say, loan me yes, a cup of sugar. Yes. And in place, they would get a cup of flour. Yes. And Lord, we would be happy and just blessed by what you've done for us together that we could not do individually. Bless yes. and keep us. Wrap your arms around us, take us forward, take away the stress, and just bless us, Lord, as you bring us in 
the 20 and 21. Is our prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Just real quick, if there's one at this final hour, perhaps, of this year, and you want to draw closer to the Lord, yes. and you haven't made those steps, you may be at home listening to me. You got your mother, your father, or somebody there. Confess to them. Let the world know. Man, I think Romans 10 and 9, somewhere about there, yes. says to us that we confess with our mouth in, in the Lord. Believing, amen, that Jesus Christ, the one I just talked about, born in Bethlehem in the Son of God, and believe that he died on the cross, but here's the key. Yes, sir. We are not serving a dead Lord, but we are serving a risen Savior because it says, who were raised from the dead yes. on the third Lord's day, amen, by the heavenly Father, you can be saved. Don't let anybody fool you with all that other garbage that you hear. If you believe, yes, have a made up mind, and want to live for the Lord, yes. salvation is yours. And I ask you to connect with the church. Reach out to a fellowship. Join. Yes. And do what you can for the Lord and for mankind. Amen. God bless you. Till we meet again is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Now, benediction. In the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. And rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth and forevermore. All these blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.